So after we reviewed some cues on the ground, I'm going to go back to doing some other saddle work with the cone and the neck rope. So bring out my stationary cone so she has something to focus on and go to. Get all my stuff set here. And I really should have moved my camera because I'm not in a great like viewing point here. You can kind of just barely see that she's moving because it's not from the side, but um, she was really good, so I want to just throw this clip. Um, so let me reinforce her for staying still while I get on. And again, I want to keep um, count or track of how long she's standing um, while I get on because I want to make sure that I'm being pro progressive with it, but I also know how long she's standing. Like, can she stand for 5 seconds or 10 seconds or 20 seconds or whatever? So now she's standing for a little, little bit longer amount of time. She was really a little quick with her head there. Um, so I don't like that, but I do want to just pay attention to it, make sure like that she's not getting tense or anything. But I like that she has her head straightened back out and touch the target. Um, she's kind of looking around. I think I'm maybe not like leaving a little bit too much time between reinforcing, but not bad because she's not wandering off or anything, which we don't want. I ask her to back up. That looks really good. Reinforce it for that. She looks a little bit more calm here. And another backup step. Very nice. Like here, she's doing great. Like she's responding really well. It's just a little bit hard to see from this angle. But that looks really nice. Definitely going back and helping her through those um, neck rope cues on the ground helped a lot. That go forward was very nice because she was actually like did it immediately usually like kind of takes her a minute she's like I'm not really sure and then she'll kind of go and touch the cone but that one she looked really confident about and went right to the cone when I asked um like right now I'm just asking her to target the cone and then now like she, if she's going to continue to stay more confident with touching it again I'm just reinforcing her for staying so um then I can start adding a cue to that and so it'll be like walk on and then when she gets to, close to the cone I'll ask her to touch or target it um, but right now, I'm just asking her to target the cone so she knows to go to it. So, again, now I've asked her to back up and now I'm going to reinforce her to for standing still too because I don't want to have the habit of just backing up and going forward and then she kind of gets into that habit of just doing that. I want her to back up and wait and then maybe go forward and then maybe back up more. I don't want to have that pattern too stuck in her mind. I want it a little bit because I want to like teach that go forward cue without using any pressure but I don't want it to become where she's only going back and forth so and again she's a little confused she um, wasn't super straight and that's fine like obviously she's pretty green and we still have some things to work on but she is responding and listening well and again really nice going forward to the comb when I ask so that looks really good So I'm just going to hang out with her a little bit and pet on her. Reinforce her for staying still. And I'll hop back on here. So I did my hand target. And she looks great. She's got her head on the stationary target. She's waiting. Awesome. She looks pretty relaxed. looking for more food but she doesn't seem super tense. Reinforce her for staying still. A little bit quick there. Ask her back up. Very nice. Now I'm reinforcing her for staying still again. So again, just like I talked about a little bit ago, I want to make sure that she can back up and wait and not just go forward every time. She was starting to think about that. So, and again, going forward is self-reinforcing for most horses. So I, I, depending on your horse, you might not have to do a lot of that. There she got confused. I was asking her to go forward. She was backing up and now she went forward to touch the target and I'll click and reinforce her. So in the beginning here, like she's stuck, she kind of wants to back up more than she does want to go forward. So I'm going to reinforce her for going forward. Other horses, you might not have to as much. Just kind of see what they really want to do and keep offering. And then I kind of um, reinforce the opposite of that so that they're balanced. Mostly for her, um, I do a lot of standing still reinforcing. Again, nice backup. Um, 
because she's in the most forward horse, but I think she does find it reinforcing, and I think part of that is she also goes back to what she knows, and she's been reinforced heavily for going forward in the past. So maybe if I hadn't done that um, when I was first starting her, she wouldn't go forward as much, just because of how she is. But um, she does, so I, I try to not reinforce going forward as much as I do staying still. For Staying still is the number one, like, she gets reinforced the most for. Uh, that looks really good. So we can definitely, I can stay on her longer. She's listening to my cues. She can back up and wait. She can go forward when I'm asking her to. So lots of good progress here, all with just the neck rope. So this looks really great. Um, and like, yes, it's going to be like when I first started her, it was slow, but this is going to be slower and that's totally fine. I want to be able to communicate with her and make sure that she wants to participate as well. And I mean, I'm happy with her just going off of my voice cues and having her back up and go forward and um, stay connected with me. So go ahead and untack her and give her her end of session cue.